Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to review and upgrade the Turtles 135mm quadcopter from Helifar. This quadcopter is almost identical to the Furby X140 which I've reviewed in the past. The only differences are that first of all it uses a different camera. This is the Runcom Micro Sparrow, the first generation. Second of all, as you can see, the frame is different. And finally it uses an Sky XM receiver in the Sky version. Inside this package we get in the quadcopter, the instructions manual, two sets of four leaf propellers, an XT30 connector with two battery leads, so they give you the option to change the XT60 connector by yourself. You also get in an extra battery strap, so you have the option to use this type or you can use the one with the buckle. And finally some heat rings, zip ties and also four nuts for the motors. So since it's almost identical to the X140 which I've already reviewed, in this video I'm going to upgrade it. What I'm going to do is to replace the Runcom Micro Sparrow with the Runcom Micro Swift 3. This is actually the released version, the one I've reviewed in the past wasn't the released one, so now it features a much bigger lens. In addition I'm going to change the XT60 connector with this XT30 connector. I'm also going to change the VTX. I had this VTX lying around and I didn't use it yet. This is the Stealth Race VTX from Furious FPV. This is the 200 milliwatt version. There's also a 700 milliwatt version. It comes also with this Bluetooth device, which enables you to control the VTX through your smartphone. I'm not going to demonstrate in this video. This VTX supports smart audio, which is more than enough in order to control the VTX settings. I'm also going to use this Big Mac antenna from Furious FPV as well. And after I'm going to assemble everything together, I'm going to head outdoors and I'm also going to test it with this Firefly Q6 camera. I had it for a long time and I actually didn't try it, so I'm going to see how it's going to perform. I'm going to mount it on top and we'll see how it goes. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video and I will see you in the end of it in order to give you my conclusion.
So unfortunately the last crush didn't end well. You can see that my Runcam Swift 3 is broken and also this side of the frame is broken as well. And on the first crash, I broke the screen of the Firefly Q6 camera. I can tell you this screen is very fragile. Fortunately, it only cost $4.5, so I ordered a new one. And another thing I can tell you is that first test your quadcopter and then mount the HD camera. It's pretty obvious, but I made this mistake because I was kind of lazy. So this quadcopter had some radio issues. I solved it by relocating the receiver and too bad I crashed it after that into a wall because of my mistake because it actually flew pretty well after I relocated the receiver. Even though I only flew it for about 10 minutes, I can tell you that the VTX performed very well. It was set most of the time to 25 milliwatt and I didn't have any signal issues. And in addition, this camera is pretty cool. I only tested the pre-release version and I can tell you that this version works pretty well. The image was very clear and too bad I crashed it. And this is one of the issues of using this big lens because you can see it sticking out of the frame and it wasn't well protected as a normal macro camera would have been protected. So overall, if you get in the Turtles 125, what I recommend to do is first get the Jamfan flash propellers Use the quadcopter the way it is with the Runcam Micro Sparrow camera and with the VTX and also with the antenna. See if you like it and if you want to upgrade the VTX, I suggest that you should check this VTX along with this antenna. And if you want to upgrade the camera, I recommend to get the Runcam Micro Sparrow 2. I think it's going to be a better solution than using the Runcam Micro Swift 3 just because probably you're going to break the camera. It's pretty expensive. So just to save the trouble, get the Runcam Micro Sparrow 2 and I think you're going to be pretty happy with it. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this quadcopter or the parts I used, feel free to ask it in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.